You're listening to the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast. Hi, I'm Francine. And I'm Carrie. We're two best friends who can't stop talking, usually about Disney stuff. Sometimes we have fascinating guests, and sometimes it's just us. But it's always positive and fun. We're happy to have you join our chat. Thanks for listening, and let's get started. Hi, Carrie. Hello, Fran. Hello. It's a good week this week. It's an awesome week. <laughs> it is. Because Last week, four people had to listen to us chitter-chatter about silly things, and we've got something important to talk about. We do. We do, because it's, we are not alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we have Ashley here with us. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Francine, and hi, Carrie. Howdy, pal. We are hi. so excited to have Ashley with us. Ashley, we've we've known you for I don't know how long now. Um, and it was all she's like OG. We met online, became friends. You like Pixie Dust fans. Like it's it's yep. been incredible um that we've just sort of grown this friendship. Like you know what? Everyone will know who you are from our bunt cake, our bunt cake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, does this make my boot cake. look big? We both yeah. have this this boot it's right over there. Mine's right there, and <laughs> the three of us have it. <laughs> oh, I have one in my kitchen. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we probably should. We don't have it in our kitchens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine's right next to my desk. I don't have it in my maybe kitchen. We should move it to the kitchen where it's appropriate. The cake would yeah. be appropriate in the kitchen. Yeah, I didn't but think where of do that. You eat the cake. Yeah, usually at my desk. So that makes sense. <laughs> I don't have room on my desk, but it's still, oh. I might relocate mine. Maybe yeah, I'll relocate mine. That, it kind of makes sense now. And really, like, it. then people can enjoy it if they see it in my office here. Nobody probably sees it except for me. But really, you know, I'm kind of 50 50 on that. Like, really, Ill, as long as I see it. As long as you <laughs> see it. Well, <laughs> and anybody that comes in my house sees it because my office is in my living room. So. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Okay. I see, think I was listening. I was listening to the was Please it when I was going it. driving this morning or yesterday morning. It's like it's like International Bunt Cake Day. Speaking of <gasps> bunt cakes, like I'm Get pretty sure they here today. Or uh, no, seriously, it might have been. I think this pickle morning. day was yesterday, so maybe bunt cake. So is then today. it is. It's bunt cake today. It is. Well, it then is. this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about it on the ra- on the radio because that's really the only yeah. I don't really watch news or listen to anything except for when I'm in my car. So that's yeah, hilarious. Today, then. Well, then this <laughs> is this Happy is perfect. Cake day, ladies. Boon cake. Yes, and for those of you that are new to listening, the short backstory of this is that we had a whole episode talking about bunt cakes and the bunt cake pan and how you make bunt cake. And Ashley sent uh, Carrie and I both um, a what? What do you call it? A needlepoint cross stitch, cross stitch um, of a bunt cake thing that we could both hang in our house. So that was like <laughs> way back OG. And now Ashley, you're on the podcast with us. Finally. <laughs> This is so exciting. This is so exciting. And it's not the first time I've wanted to be on. I did oh. ask, but my my cast member abilities were over 15 years ago. So that oh. didn't help. <laughs> they were not relevant <laughs> to today's standards. Well, you have had... Okay, so first, before we even get started, where will people find you online? Because your handle on Instagram, I'm going to let you say it. <laughs> <laughs> my... Well, I'm in Pixie Dust fan group, obviously. Ashley obviously. You moderate uh, my group. Like, people don't I'm, know that. You're a moderator. You are the moderator. You do you, a lot. You, you're known. Like, little, you're, you're no, known. Right behind. You are yeah. known. So yes. We I, just, I, I start so a bad. lot of conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but Instagram, simple, Ashy, Y-V-R, A-S-H-I, Y-V-R. Or if you want the Disney exclusive one, Magical Adventures underscore ashy ybr excellent yeah. excellent Put them in the show notes we will, oh, <laughs> show yeah, notes. absolutely absolutely <laughs> and then the fun fact which i will also put in the show notes is i actually was at a fair a couple months ago i think it might have been my pixie dust on one of the episodes and i was talking about how i found this lady she had this epicure stuff or whatever and then i find out ashley does epicure 
So I'm going to put your page. I'm going to put, because she's now given me all sorts of tips about different things, which is where I got my popcorn toppers, um, right? So now I'm addicted. Had the churro topper on my waffles this morning. So there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. You can make uh, churro waffles from the cruise. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, I will put that in the show notes, too. (laughs) I will absolutely put that in. Cruise waffles, here we come. Here we come. See? Maybe that's an episode. How do you Disneyfy some of your regular food with some sprinkles? Exactly. I have to go borrow my friend's Mickey waffle because they've got the Christmas nut seasoning and it's a cinnamon like churro Ooh. seasoning. Ooh. So I might just have to go make her some uh, there you churro go. waffles. She's got the Mickey waffle iron. So oh. I have to go to her house. I didn't I I don't have one of those but I think it needs to I don't be. either I don't have space I know I know like there's so many things I want but see, see we could talk for hours but the, the yep. reason Bunk cake. today <laughs> Bunk cakes and epicure and travel and, and travel. we've been talking for 45 minutes yeah 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 see how that goes okay maybe just six i five. get it yeah yeah it's so, I, now, I now understand this whole process you see how this happens and then we get to off on some other tangent but ashley you were just on like an epic amazing trip and that's uh, why you're one week trip yes yeah like okay so you go all the way to hong kong disneyland for a week four days yep <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's <laughs> you got some explaining to do. <laughs> okay. Yes. So how did this come Start about? Off expl- okay. So I, in 2020, I started running for fun. Yes. For fun. Um, and can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> but back in 2020, we all know what happened. And I did a couple virtual run Disney events. So I ran at home, but Disney mailed me a medal because nice. I only run for medals. None of this running for non-medals. That, that's <laughs> not in my, that's not my jam. That makes sense. But I, but I haven't gotten to California or Florida for the in-person events since they restarted. They're, they're expensive. Mm-hmm. And my vacation time never matches the run events. So I was like, oh, hey, well randomly saw someone post on one of the run groups that there was a 10k in hong kong and i was like what so i look a little bit more into it jokingly said to my other half hey look i could go run in hong kong and it's cheaper than running a 10k in florida just the race aspect of it not necessarily the whole the whole (laughs) picture we didn't we hadn't looked that far ahead yet and he goes well let's do it and I was like, okay, because we had gone to Hong Kong. We did the the uh, Asian trifecta in 2019, but I was three months post-op. So learning to relive, and I actually don't remember a lot of it. Oh, <laughs> So it's always, it's now on my bucket list to go back to each of the three parks there. And now that Hong Kong had a new castle, so that was great. We, have, we got to see the new castle and Frozen Land, but I'm getting ahead of myself. And we'll go back to Shanghai and Tokyo at another time. So we were kind of like, oh, hey, let's let's plan it. Okay, well, we started looking at hotels and got a good deal on flights through our points. So we flew to Hong Kong. For, <laughs> we lost a day on the way there. Unbelievable. Um, yeah. And uh, so the first two, well, like we arrived at basically 5 a.m. on a Friday. <laughs> so not much was open but we yeah. also <laughs> we got to the hotel and they're like oh yeah check-ins at three period no option like early check-in we're like all right <laughs> so you've just but how long was the flight like when you by the time you arrived 14 how long hours you had been traveling for 14 well plus hotel time like getting to the airport yeah. all that stuff all together was probably close to 20 hours in a sense of like by the time since we left our house yeah to at the airport flight airport and uber to the hotel yeah it was about 18 to 20 hours yeah so so you arrive at the hotel and they go thanks but you're gonna have to wait like 12 hours for your room yep (laughs) 
<laughs> pretty much, <laughs> which was fine. We knew that's we had a feeling that was what's going to happen. So we put our bags in um, like bell services and they were like, come back at three for your room. And so we went, did a couple like sites that we got on the train. We walked down, we, because we had been there, we knew how to get to the train station. Um, Cause it's literally at the entrance to Hong Kong Disney. They right. have their own, it's the Disneyland resort line. Sidebar, I'll send you a couple pictures. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we walked from our hotel down to the train station, figured out it was actually cheaper just to tap our credit cards than it was to purchase like a day pass, which oh. was funny. Just like certain things in Hong Kong are cheaper in Canadian than at home, but it, it so it worked out great. It was awesome. Um, we went to the closest city to do one of the sightseeing things that were on our list got there and the tram it's like the skyliner it's a super version of the skyliner um like massive skyliner same setup though like little cabin skyliner but nice. like 600 meters in the air like, i don't huge. i don't know that i'd like that but okay <laughs> <laughs> it, we ended up doing it on our last day so it worked out we all got to do it but we ended up going downtown, which we didn't get to do last time because there was political conflict in Hong Kong in 2019. So it was nice to actually go see stuff that we hadn't seen yet. So that was just Weren't our first you thing. exhausted? Like, yes. I, can't, I can't even imagine. Like, you get <laughs> off the plane, I would be dragging myself to the airport. And then you go and have, like, a full day of sightseeing? I mean, for us, it was technically a full day, yes. But literally... Um, so I figured out with another Pixie Dust fan who I chat with on a daily basis, <laughs> um, she, we figured it out that literally because we were there before that, like that same weekend as the time change, Hong Kong doesn't ta- change time zones. So that okay. was also mm-hmm. something we had to figure out. But originally she was just 12. You guys were 12 hours behind me. Okay. It was like, so it wasn't horrible we just like my morning was her night so yeah I'm like all right 7 p.m Hong Kong time at 7 a.m she's getting up to go to work and I'm like okay bye I'm going to bed (laughs) (laughs) so then yeah and we had an early morning on Saturday early ish um so that was our first run that was our first day and then we did me and my partner did the Duffy 3k we just walked it um, because I've never seen a run Disney North America event that was Duffy. No, me friends. neither. And I don't think we'll ever get that in North America. So I was like, I have to do the Duffy event. Yeah. Because it's Duffy. Um, so yeah, we just did the, we just walked the 3K um, on the Saturday. And then we made the mistake of doing a, another full day of sightseeing after that. So you did the you did the walk in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. It was like the- yeah, same kind of thing as like run Disney in Florida. It's like early, like six a.m., seven a.m. type thing start, and then I mean it's three k. It's it doesn't take that long. It only it's not even an hour. So went back to the hotel, had breakfast, went back, got on the train, went downtown for another full day of sightseeing. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we were back at the hotel and probably in bed by eight o'clock again. <laughs> I would imagine so. Like Carrie, is this, this is not how you want to do Hong Kong Disneyland, right? Okay. <laughs> Wait, our actual Hong Kong days are fantastic. We decided because we were like, uh, eh, they're probably good. they were on the weekend. The runs were on the weekend. So right? we're like, one, everyone's gonna be there on the weekend. Mm. The weekend's gonna be busier in the park. So we saved our two park days for Monday, Tuesday, um, after all the run stuff. Okay. So, and how were the crowds on the Monday, Tuesday? Better? They were Obviously. great. Yeah. We only had, I think our longest actual wait was for Iron Man. And I think that like meeting, meet and greet Iron Man. And I think that was 15 minutes. Oh, oh. 
everything else was under that. The only thing, and I don't know why, had there was one ride that had 40 minute wait. There's not even equivalent of this ride at Disney World. Oh. There is, there is an equivalent of this ride in Disney California Adventure. So Carrie will be 100% sure of this one. She probably hasn't gone on it in a long time, if ever. Jumping jellyfish at Disney <laughs> California Adventure. I've never been on that ride. <laughs> Which one's that? <laughs> Have I ever been near it? Where is it? Over it's on, over um, by the Mallow Boomer, or it used to be the Mallow Boomer. It's not Mallow Boomer anymore. It's um, the, Golden Zephyr. Golden like where, Zephyr, the, yeah. where the swings are? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. In that corner. Ah. So it's one of those like parachute drop style. And that had so a like, big line? 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I have no idea that's crazy no idea that is kind of crazy it's the only ride we didn't go on because i'm like i'm not waiting 40 minutes for that yeah did um (laughs) for the back to the run you did like back to the run did you guys did you run like what was the what was the course like did you literally the property or yeah literally the 3k um was from the parking lot into the main entrance around the like run through the whole park run because we walked it and back to the parking lot so it was it was really easy it was perfect the 10k i did on the sunday i dressed up as rocket raccoon nice (laughs) and because it was a marvel theme it was marvel 10k and so i was like i want something i can run in (laughs) there weren't that many people dressed up in general um for the hong kong runs there was more for like the three and the 5k but for the 10k there was definitely not um that one was definitely longer uh and didn't just go through the park but with hong kong disneyland resort they've got their park huge parking lot two technically huge parking lots um they've got three hotels space for more they do have kind of like, um, it's, I want to say Inspiration Lake is what it's called, but I can't remember if that's the actual name. Um, but it's like a little lake resort in a sense, just like man-made lake with like a couple buildings. And it's not open right now because it's still reopening. It hasn't had the desire or the uh, influx of people maybe in high summer it's a little busier but definitely november wasn't um so we ran around the parking lot around the lake down past all the hotels then we went through the park so we did basically 7k that was around the entire resort and then 3k was around the park park and parking lot yeah and did you do like backstage areas like was it backstage or it was all up on stage there was only one part backstage and that was when we were coming back from say like Tomorrowland down to Main Street so Mm -hmm. like the equivalent would be when they send you in for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party at Walt Disney World down that side road yeah that's backstage but it's kind of not not yeah this one is a little bit more actual backstage like there were actual backstage buildings, but there was definitely no, like, wasn't quite like see running past the floats that weren't right. like in view. Like we didn't get any of that. Everything else we ran pretty much right on stage nice. on what you would see. Yeah, it was, I liked it. It was really is cool. The Disney, we, is the Disneyland footprint the like the same as California? Like what's the size? like? It's very similar. It's actually, I feel it's a bit smaller. Um, mm-hmm. There's not, there's not as many rides in Fantasyland. Um, not a lot of dark rides, uh, like the the smaller, like Mr. Toad or Pinocchio. There's not as many of those. That I think, I don't even know if they have any. I would have to confirm. 
but you don't like but it's the same have... sort of layout and like the same space like the same size yeah. sort of yeah yeah but they've got like there was a there's a sit down restaurant in there a um, couple of quick service oh there yeah so they they do a lot of food they do have mickey's philhar magic it's still the old film roles okay versus, versus digital like movie now like yeah it's it's funny because literally you can hear when they start the machine up to roll <laughs> the reels of film i was like what is that noise and chris is like that's the reels of film <laughs> i was like oh that's different so it is <laughs> yeah haven't heard that noise in a long time yeah um uh, but yeah no i i love hong kong it's a smaller park it definitely is it's not i mean we we did two full days and we were pretty much mostly done after the first day oh so the okay. second day we did the couple things that we missed like more like show stuff um and like the train and right like they only have two train stations oh main street <laughs> and fantasy land and that's it and it just goes back and forth just goes in the oh, circle right well yeah. yeah back and forth <laughs> people can't hear Not but i'm <laughs> i'm pointing straight line these two are making circular motions to me so yes it, it goes in the circle <laughs> goes around the park yeah. yes yes yeah. Um, but yeah, I know there's some similarities and some differences, um, some for cultural reasons and some just as a general, um, I mean, I can, I can run through them all if you want. Yeah. Like, does, cause I, th I feel <laughs> like minute, I happen to have a list right here. Let me get my list. Like... <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, it's almost like when you do Disneyland for the first time or Walt Disney World, like the Magic Kingdom for the first time, and you've been at the other one, it's familiar, but mm -hmm. different. And is mm -hmm. that how this is? Like, it's like you feel absolutely. familiar, but it's so different. And Absolutely. I feel like this would be even more different because mm -hmm. there's also the language differences and cultural differences on top of it just being different. Yes, exactly. And I mean, I have done all six parks. So I do that when you do the Asian parks and even Disneyland Paris, the, the language culture is different for Asia versus Disneyland Paris. There's not much of a culture right. shock except you'll see more people smoking in lines <laughs> <laughs> um that was one of my only main cultural differences besides its language in paris versus north america but right the asian parks yeah you do there's the cultural differences language barrier is more especially from canada where we speak a lot of people they'll know a little bit of french even if yeah. they don't speak it because we had to learn it um but the asian there's a couple different languages over there so it's like you've got your mandarin or your cantonese as the two main but if you don't speak them you, you, you here's hoping hand yeah. gestures work well like if you're looking for the castle um as i'm making hand gestures on a, a zoom call you none of these people listening to the podcast can see those <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> we forget all the time too. <laughs> but like, how do you order food? I like, I, I think, about, so I would be lost. How do I A, find the bathroom and B, order food? Like those would be so, my two, like. The advantage of Hong Kong being a British colony is there is a lot of English. Okay. So that is very, a lot, most of the cast members probably do speak English. Oh, at least okay. understand it so that the language barrier is not really an issue um bathrooms don't be shocked there are a few that have the squatting chinese toilets you just don't use those stalls right <laughs> <laughs> that goes into the cultural differences <laughs> but when you're walking in the bathroom and it's just a hole in the ground it's a little you're like oh yeah yeah i guess that's not it's our different thing. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, uh, their um, small world has almost, it's like the same facade as um, California. 
So it's got the nice outside building. Oh, I love that, that part. That they put the lights on. Um, but then you go inside. So it's got that mix of like the indoor boring queue that Florida has. Oh, but, so there's the outside, but then you line up inside. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's nice. Um, and they have a Canada section. Ooh. Not just yeah. the not just the the mounty with the thing on his head. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is a mounty, but he's got at least got some extra trees around him as well. <laughs> he's got a section. He's not just. It's isn't that Disneyland it's, when you're going into the you're going into a room and he's just kind of like standing there, there. Like kind of as an afterthought, like yeah. <laughs> like no, we gotta and, stick him in there. <laughs> and with the Hong Kong one that we like, um, that I noticed this trip, and I said to Chris, I was like, "Hey, that's cool. I like that." Each room that you went into had like a plaque and it was like North America or the Americas or oh, wow. rainforest or like it showed like the different what it was supposed to be. You didn't have to be like, oh, is this Australia or is this like right the, te- the de- Texas desert? Like you didn't have to guess <laughs> what it was supposed <laughs> it told to be. You what it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, it was cute. I mean, that would be a simple fix to like, or like the Pacific Islands. Like, it was it was so nice. And like, you could, okay, now we're going to go. And they have the Disneyland where they've got the Disneyland characters in um, in Small World. Seems, so like, yeah. yeah, Stitch and Lilo are in surfing on their little boards. And like, oh. Mad Hatter, or not Mad Hatter, uh, White Rabbit is in the UK section. Yeah. Hmm. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Their jungle cruise is different. There's no backside of water. <laughs> that That's feels a little odd. Yeah. Like it feels odd to not have it. But there is a different element to it. There's like the, a fire element, which is very cool. Ooh, um, pyro. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a video of it in my, um, in, on my Facebook. So when you post this podcast, I'll put that pic that video on there. Nice. Nice. Comments. I did then, I did yeah. see it. I did see the video yeah. when you posted it. Like, yeah, it's Isn't pretty it? impressive. Yeah. And that's just one little part. Like, but it was funny. Like I laughed pretty much the entire part of Jungle Cruise, which is the purpose. But it was because I had not one single idea what the guy was saying. <laughs> 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 when we were there in 2019 there was two lines one was chinese and one was english that is that didn't come back after oh COVID. no or if it did it's seasonal i don't know oh maybe but, only uh, when it's busy like maybe in the summer or something but yeah, yeah it was it was entertaining because i just couldn't stop laughing <laughs> and were all the other people I, on the boat just laughing away and you knew like the cue no, was no <laughs> sometimes but like I was definitely like laughing on my own because I should I know what they should be saying right (laughs) watch out for ginger she snaps I'm like how does that translate does that actually translate (laughs) oh it's okay to take pictures because the elephants are wearing their trunks does that translate (laughs) is that what he's saying I don't know it's yeah how do you go on the jungle cruise and not laugh it's yeah i just hoped for the best (laughs) (laughs) was there spiders on their jungle cruise and i didn't like that oh like where fake spiders uh uh, in one (laughs) like i know we there is in disney world when you go in the tunnel thing there's like spider webs in that thing oh in the yeah when you go into shirley's temple yeah and i just i just <laughs> i don't do spiders yeah There's i know but you only but you only yeah. see like you only like they're so far they're far away like the spiders yeah, here, but these ones were not they're not far away from the boat no no oh. like literally i could probably like just poke it Ugh. oh i know i well that that gives yeah, me the exactly yeah. me too yeah yeah that but then they've got a couple rides head. that no one has yeah, tell us about those. The, yes. Tell us about the, that stuff. So when you go through Adventureland, which is 
to the left off the hub. <laughs> so same as normal. Um, you also then go into um, Grizzly Gulch. Mm -hmm. So it's not frontier land, but it would be kind of like the similar uh, uh, copycat of okay. frontier land per se. And they've got, um, what's it called? Do they have bears? Yeah. Grizzly, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um so it's the equivalent to like thunder mountain i can't remember its actual name right now and was it did it feel like Grizzly. thunder like when you were on it was it kind so, of that kind of jerky no yeah. uh, no it's more it's more modern than um and it has a backwards element so it's a little it's not Ooh. as crazy Ooh. as everest it's more flat but it's got that similar, like, oh, I'm at the end of the track. Now what? <laughs> kind of aspect oh, to it. Yeah. That's and it's different. not as it's not as steep. So you're not as like G forced in it. Um, but it's fun. It, it's a great ride. We rode it a couple of times. Um, and they don't have like a train engine on the front of it. So if you get front row, it's kind of cool because you don't have to sit right behind a train engine that you can't see around. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so there's it's nothing like, in front of like you. A, yeah, it's more like a runaway like mine cart in a sense. Ooh. Um, and then the grizzly bears are the ones causing the ruckus, which is fun. <laughs> and then I got to meet Kenai again, and I hadn't seen Kenai since 2007 in Epcot, yeah. which was that, fun. Now that's the one from Brother Brother, brother Bear, Bear. Right, the older right. brother, the older yes. brother. Right, right, right. Yeah. I only saw, I only watched that movie once, and honestly, I think I only watched it because our friend Dustin, he loves that I don't movie. know if we can be friends, because and it's one of my favorites. Is it? Dustin, same with Dustin. He's like, you gotta watch yes, it, you gotta watch it. I'm like, all right. He's it also a former cast member. We we understand this, because probably when he was working there, yes, they, we, we had Koda <laughs> and Kina walk through our pavilion all the time. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Yes, and that's we didn't even say that when we introduced you, really, that you're a former cast member as well. But let's continue your trip. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic, I know. Now, like, how long do we have? I know, right? As this long is, as we need, Toots, as this, long as we need. This is what happens with us. <laughs> Mystic Manor, so yeah. Have, yeah, so before before we get to Mystic Manor, just because we have to go through the park. Oh, so we've, yes, yeah. We've left, we've, we've left this Grimsley Gulch. Um, then we go into Toy Story Land. It's It's small, it's three rides. It's, um, they don't have Toy Story Mania, so there's none of that chaos, but oh. it's the parachute, army man parachute ride. That's the same as jumping which jellyfish. Like the, which is a jumping jellyfish. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Which was 40 minutes and we're not, we're not waiting 40 minutes for that. They have right. the slinky dog. Like it's kind of like the tilt a whirl in a sense, but it's just like a continuous, like what's that? It's that carnival ride, like the crazy, like everyone knows what I'm talking about. Like the one you sit in, you just spit, like it's like a You long... just go around and around. Yeah. It goes yeah. Like, does it go like kind of like up and down, but just in a circle, yeah. right? Like it, it, yeah. it yes. looks like it's Slinky Dog Dash, but it's not. It, it yes, just goes around exactly. in a circle. It's just in a circle, but huh, it's, it's Slinky in his car. Yeah. So it was cute. We did that just because it's just because it as well. Yeah. Um, RC racer, which is kind of like the typical fair ride of like a pirate ship that goes back and forth and back and forth. It was, oh. it was not working that time. So we didn't get to do RC racer, which is fine. They're pretty strange fine rides, but I guess the equivalent of like the, what you see in other parks, I suppose. Like they're just yeah. weird. They're just yeah. like, is more like subdue. Like they, they do have, I think that same RC racer in Paris if I remember correctly. It's been a mm -hmm. while. I haven't been there in for a while. Yeah, but how I'm going big, in the summer. How big was Toy Story <laughs> Land like in comparison to Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios? Like same size? No. No, like a third of the size. Yeah, because oh. the lights didn't have a big footprint. Those no, rides. yeah, I They're guess pretty, not. You know, yeah. And they've got like a souvenir shop, a meet greet spot, and a like snack stand it's not even like a quick service like woody's uh lunchbox it's oh. like even just like it's got like churros and ice cream bars type thing so oh. it's not it's definitely not big but then from there you go into mystic point which is 
uh, where Mystic Manor is. Um, and so Mystic Manor is based off of like the, the Sea Adventures Club, um, the Explorers Club. And it's their equivalent to or replacement for a haunted mansion. Mm -hmm. uh, because they don't culturally they don't do ghost death or skeletons ghosts yeah. um it uh it's their equivalent so it's mystic it's magic um so he's a collector of items um and there's a magic music box and his little sidekick albert who is my favorite is a little monkey <laughs> um he opens the music box and then it's a trackless ride. So it's similar to Ratatouille or Rise of the Resistance, where you're not on a, a set track, per se. You've got the trackless roving vehicles. Mm. And it's probably one of my favorites, too. We went on that a few times. Because Albert's just so cute and funny. <laughs> <laughs> Always the sidekicks that get you, right? <laughs> it is. It mm -hmm. is. It's always like the the lesser known sidekick or something that that kind of draws you in. Um, yeah. And how is it lengthwise in in terms of like haunted mansion versus Mystic yeah. Manor? Like about the same time? It's probably a little bit shorter per se, but it is. It's a good like. Like it's not an in and out ride. Like you're not no, like not it's not no, like it, it's not Peter Pan. No, it's similar <laughs> it's not Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah, not Peter Pan or Tron. Or Tron. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's probably literally more along the lines of like Minnie and Mickey's run away. Run no oh, okay. way railway. <laughs> yeah, they needed <laughs> a shorter twister. name for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, same yeah, it's similar to like the same length wise as Ratatouille and all that those ones okay yeah it's a good length it's it's a good ride I mean, it's is it your favorite as, there that's i want to know what's your favorite run favorite thing it would be my favorite at hong kong yeah maybe tied with um the grizzly railroad whatever it's called i don't know why i can't remember it right now but i'm on my phone so i can't even check it yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, those two would be my my top for Hong Kong. Nice. And then we got to see the new Frozen, uh, World of Frozen, mm -hmm. Arendelle, because that they had just broken ground in 2019, but we hadn't, there was nothing to even see back then. Um, so they've got a quick serve restaurant. They've got a snack stand then two gift shops three gift shops two two or three Lots. they have that much frozen <laughs> merch yeah <laughs> they have a lot of frozen merch um mm -hmm. the advantage to their frozen um ride was it was only a 10 minute walk on and most wow. of that 10 minutes was literally walking through the queue and i met oh. elsa in the queue no because she she decides to hang out in there once in a while it was pretty cool. That is cool. Can you imagine um, that in Walt Disney World, a walk-on where Elsa's just hanging in the queue? Never. Right? Never. Never. Right? never. Yeah. So I, never. Um, we did that uh, a couple times. It's the same as Florida, um, except it's backwards. Um, so on that backwards, when Elsa yeah. says, like, let it go, and you go backwards. Um, Instead of coming back and then you swip to go down the hill on the right, you go back and swip to go down on a, on a left hill. Um, <laughs> so it's it's fun to see those little differences. Yeah. Um, the animatronics are actual animatronic faces versus the um, screen projecting ones. Oh, okay. So like, hmm. Their lips actually move and like oh, their cool. eyes move versus just like a computer screen screen face <laughs> nice yeah um the wandering oak and sled ride uh that is short <laughs> okay it wasn't i was thinking it was going to be a little bit more like seven dwarfs mine train because that's what i thought it was based off of but it's it's maybe gadgets go coaster 
a little bit oh. longer than it's between the two it's it's not quite as short as like gadgets go coaster or goofies over in two and oh, right. there. yeah but it's a short coaster not a lot of um like, excitement is it, to it is it a kitty coaster like it's a kitty type coaster but it's more adult themed like huh. it's i mean it's frozen so yeah, your kids are exactly. gonna love it <laughs> your kids are gonna love it it's frozen um but and it's you're not gonna kill your shins like i do on gadgets go coaster every time but it's definitely a short coaster so don't it, it's the tron experience <laughs> got it so good, good, like, good oh, that, that you didn't short. wait <laughs> yeah good no, thing oh, you didn't yeah, wait too was, long again, yeah we wrote it twice still but we definitely did like a, a five ten minute five minute. oh that's awesome easy yeah but the theming is great like they've got lots of little things to look at through the lines anyways so mm -hmm. even if you do have to wait a little bit longer they've got lots of things to look at for sure and their cues are all themed and just as entertaining as as you yeah. would find in the other parks. Yeah. Yeah. They all have something to look at. Um, so yeah. So after Frozen, what do we do? There's Fantasyland. Like I said, it's it, there's really not much there. It's Winnie the Pooh, um, which is nice. It's not it's better than Disney World Winnie the Pooh. Um I, not as good as Tokyo Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not horrible. It, it's not. It's it's good, but it's it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I know. It, <laughs> they Pooh Bear is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. It's good. It's got some fun aspects to it, but it, it's mm -hmm. no Tokyo. <laughs> so got we'll put it. it that way. And it's got about it. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. I, Carousel, Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, Phil Her Magic, maybe a meet and greet, Princesses. Hmm. Yeah, how were the meet? How were the meet and greets? I didn't wait for a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I met Kenai. He was out, had a short line. Minnie, by the time I saw her out, her line was closed. So I was, but I got a picture with her in our hotel the first on the friday when i arrived yeah. bright and early um how bizarre is that that minnie was out at that time she wasn't there at five o'clock in the morning oh, okay it was a little it was a little bit we had just come back but <laughs> like... we had to be back to like pick up our all the race stuff so oh okay she, okay we were back early and the race stuff hadn't opened and she was out hanging out so okay that makes yeah. more sense than minnie being out at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> yes. she couldn't sleep <laughs> right she was getting ready for the day <laughs> i mean that i've seen them like on the cruises and stuff i've seen pictures of like the characters will roam around at night in their pajamas yeah on like yeah. the longer cruises on the longer cruises goofy goofy i have seen goofy out in his pajamas with his little nightcap. Yeah, yeah with his nightcap you know with the one with the little bobble on <laughs> <laughs> so cute it's bucket so list cute. bucket list yeah. goofy yeah yeah but yeah, so we did, we did some, we didn't do a lot of meet and greets, um, but it was just, we didn't, we saw a lot of characters. I saw a lot of characters when we did our run and walk through of the park. So I just, we just yeah. took a lot of pictures then. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, their, their castle is very limited. There's like a meet and greet princesses in the castle. So that takes up like one half of the castle. Um, and I think they actually use, because there's no utilidors, I think they actually use the castle as a big like, staging area for cast members oh, okay. and performers. To go out to their lands. Yeah, because I think there, we saw right. an elevator and we're like, where does this go? And it's like, cast members only. And we're like, right. Huh okay fine <laughs> <laughs> and then they've got like the fancy jewelry shop in there nice now some what, stuff that i'm not buying <laughs> what about merch was there stuff like did you pick up something fun that was like your holy grail i'm so glad i bought this well it was funny because there's the viral tiktok um mickey sunglasses right now so they're like the little mickey head with like but each lens 
is like a little Mickey head, oh. but they're from Tokyo. And Jen, our friend on Pixie Dust Band, who I travel to Disney a lot with, and we're going again in January <laughs> and July. So we'll have to do another follow up with her yes, when yes. we're back. <laughs> um, but she's like, oh, I know it's a Tokyo thing, but like these would be perfect for our summer trip. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll see, but I know they're a Tokyo thing. So, well, first day I'm there, I see them. I was like, oh, oh no way. Okay. But they were blue lenses and I was kind of like, eh, not my style, but like if she wants them, I'll get them for her. And then I found them with like a darker normal lens. So we're, we're ready. Be prepared for <laughs> pictures with oh, our nice. Mickey sunglasses. That is so fantastic. Yes. And then I did some shopping for some other people. Um, I've got a friend in the States who's like frozen obsessed. So, so there Spent was some, plenty. Yeah. Some frozen stuff. And then I've got a friend on the island who's Duffy obsessed while well, her kids are Duffy obsessed. So there was some Duffy merch and friends, shoulder plushes and ears. Nice. And them, so <laughs> was the merch yeah. like, was the merch like how it, it is? here like where you just see the same stuff over and over and over and over again and it's everywhere or is it like spread out and like fun to shop so a a little bit of a little bit of both like certain like specifically like our hotel we stayed in like the budget hotel of the three um but it's still like a i'd say riverside level Mm -hmm. like a moderate but it's the budget version um their hotel shop was very lacking in comparison just even to the hotel next door which is their explorer's lodge which is like wilderness lodge but small version or animal kingdom lodge small version um they had way more merch so there was a couple times i I ran over to their hotel store for shopping versus mine um but there's like stores some of them are like duffy only so like you know like and on the ones so uh, when you walk on in, into Main Street on the left side, you've got the Emporium. That's your like classic Disney side. On the right side, where you'd have like the candy shop or like the hat shop. That's mostly Duffy um, side. So they are separated on that sense, but mm. they're really easy to find both. Mm. Um but for the most part, some of the frozen stuff you could only get back in the frozen shop in the, in frozen. the back of the park. Um, the Marvel stuff was kind of over in Tomorrowland because their Tomorrowland is a little bit different. I hadn't gotten to Tomorrowland yet. See, sidetrack. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, kept, I wanted to ask you about them. That merch question, I thought of it like two seconds into the call. So I was making sure well, I kept it back. You have to make we, sure we gotta remember you remember those questions. Well, because yeah. that's a pain, right? Like it it used to be a pain where you saw something in a store and you didn't buy it. And then you were searching forever. You were like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. where did I see that? Because now I can't find it and I got to go back. So that was a bit of a pain. But well, now the one it's thing, the same Chris stuff I... everywhere, right? Oh, and, and then, yes. which means it takes the fun out of going in all the stores yeah. because all the stores have the same stuff. So that, I don't like that part either. So no, it's good to know if they which have is, separate. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah. yeah. It's frustrating yeah. too, because you're like, oh, you're looking for something. And it's like, no, it's the same stuff. Yeah. But um, the one thing we did and made sure that we did is on our phones is we just turned like on the geolocation. Mm-hmm. Uh, for taking photos so like we could tell okay if there was something specific I took a picture of it I'm like okay if I see it somewhere else when we go over there later then then I know but if I don't I know where that item was smart because then I could go back look at the info of it why don't I do that you probably do, but you probably don't even check. I probably don't. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking so, that would come in handy because sometimes I'm like, where was this again? <laughs> go into your like the pic the like, gallery side and go on the info of the photo and I it'll show it where it me. is. Oh, for heaven's yeah. sakes. All this information's been at your fingertips. So oh we didn't my know. heaven's sakes. If it's not, you can set it up. <laughs> I swear it probably is in there. Okay, continue. <laughs> continue so tomorrowland again not as big um (laughs) 
Oh my gosh, it's right there. She found okay, it, guys. Go on. Yeah, <laughs> she I found it. it. Okay. Yeah, it's on a little map and everything. Okay, sorry, go right. on. <laughs> no, it's great. See, you learn something new every day. Every day. Every day. Oh my gosh. Okay, go on. So their Space Mountain um, is permanently Hyperspace Mountain, uh, which is the seasonal one for Disneyland, Disneyland. which is the uh, Star Wars one. Nice. So Star Wars, which is, it's fun, but. I despise Star Wars or not Star Wars, um, Space Mountain. No, I like Star Wars. I just despise Space Mountain. Why? I feel like my head's going to get chopped off. Oh, that part. Yeah, I know. I, I, so I literally about that too. Yeah. Literally, I ride it with my head shoved in my shoulder, yeah. all crouched over, and I get off and I feel so uncomfortable because I'm like so sore and stiff. Yeah. And it jerks you around so hard. It does. Um, but it was so much fun. And literally, it was a walk on. So I think we wrote it twice. <laughs> and it, was it as close as it is you feel it in the others? Like where you feel like, I don't want to put my hands up because I might lose them? I never put my hands up. So I don't know. No, me neither. Um, <laughs> me neither. I don't. I never do. I did notice that I didn't crouch down as much. Okay. So you didn't so feel whether... like the, the rails were right above your head. And I don't know if that's because it was hyperspace mountain, so it's darker. And oh, I just don't, like not... you can't see anything, right? Like, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty no, much? It's, you see like a couple lasers of stars. going pew 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 stars, pew, pew, pew. right? Like a Tie Fighter, like yeah, it just kind true. of pops up, but it's mostly black. So, yeah. Um, then they've got like a little performer stage in Tomorrowland, like most Tomorrowlands do, um, where they had some meet and greets. We didn't wait for them though, because. Their app, this is what I did not like, did not have a drop down that said characters. So they didn't show when the characters, like you had to actually like look further into it. So I was like, "Eh, if I see them, I see them. If I wait for them, I wait for them. Um, So we didn't, that's why we didn't also didn't do a lot of characters. They do have Uh a Duffy playground, what they call, um, where you can meet three Duffy characters at a time but they're individual lines okay so you have to yeah. choose which and it's not like um it's not like princess fairy tale hall where you go into one and meet the next one then meet the next one you have to kind of choose who you're going to see and go wait in that lineup got um, it so I did meet Duffy that way um I missed Olu which I was sad about but I did get to see him in the parade which Chris and I were like oh hey let's watch the parade literally it was like a little cute casey jr train with the characters on it and that was it oh you're kidding it was literally like a five minute walk past um <laughs> like not even five minutes like literally it was just like there was like mm, three cars maybe and then that and then was oswald it. was on the back which was cute nice because yeah. you don't see him often um but yeah it i was like oh Okay, that's it. Okay, we're done. (laughs) Um, It was cute, though. And I got to see Olu there. So that was good. Um, Their Star Tours, Mm -hmm. they don't have Star Tours. Um, It got rethemed to Iron Man. Okay. Um, So Jarvis is the pilot. And he's taking you on a tour to see the arc reactor at Stark Tower thing. <clears throat> and you get invaded. So it's, I mean, it's the same story as I saw five years ago. Um, it's the same setup as Star Tours, but it's Iron Man themed. It's cute. It's based in Hong okay. Kong. So you you do, if you don't get outside the Disney bubble, you kind of <laughs> see a little bit of, a little <laughs> bit of Hong Kong without like too much intenseness. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. And then their Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters or whatever it's called in whatever park um, is Ant-Man and the Wasp. So that's fun. It's a different oh, theme. So weird. their Tomorrowland, yeah, their Tomorrowland is Marvel themed um, for sure versus, the, I mean, besides Star Wars Space Knight. Right. Um, but there are two rides mm. in there are Marvel. Um, I'd be so and lost. But the, and then they've got three uh, Marvel shops, <laughs> so there's a lot of Marvel in there for what it is. And then they've got like a little Astro Orbiters 
um, but you're in a flying saucer rather than a rocket. Um, oh, that's so it's different. Almost, it's cute. It's it's like the seats are not as constricted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you did that one. We did that one. And we do it at night because it's really pretty because they light it up very pretty. Nice. Um, so we wait until it's dark to do it. We did it last time in the dark too. So yeah. And that is, they do have Animation Academy. Uh, we didn't do it this time. Um, when we did it last time, they were very adamant when we were walking in. They're like, it's in Chinese. We're like, that's fine. <laughs> that's you can follow okay. along the drawing. You don't need the I can the see words. the drawing. <laughs> yeah, it's the same setup. So you can see what they're doing. Um, nice. But that's in, um, like, on Main Street, down in, like, kind of where mickey's town hall meet and greet is and magic mm. kingdom so it's like right when you walk in um but other than that i mean it's very small uh smaller than disneyland uh california side um but it's cute and it's nostalgic because it's very similar in yeah. style You're walking down main street you got the bakery you got your starbucks <laughs> you got your emporium you got like everything along the way I just can't believe you went all that way for four days. And we did a lot. And yeah, like <laughs> everything that you're describing, you did all of that in four days. Yeah. Well, and I mean, we'd still saw lots of Hong Kong as well. We went down to Hong Kong, like down to the Victoria Island. We went up to the peak. Uh, we were down in the harbor. We went over, did the super Skyliner on the other side. And good heavens yeah were you oh, like it was, it was five full day uh friday saturday sunday monday tuesday Wednesday. six full days okay i'm, still, cu I'm cutting myself short you're cutting yourself six short full but, days but that's still like that's a heck of a way to go for for six days like oh, when you got on the plane to come home were you just like out like that's it i'm i'm asleep and i'll wake wake me up when i get there well, I mean, we had it kind of planned out. We had a layover, so our flight home was only nine hours. Um, only. Our first flight our first flight was an hour and a half, um, but literally it was up. They served it because we had used points to upgrade, so we'd got some food and uh, landed, and then on our long flight, they uh, served us food again, mm -hmm. and then I slept for like six hours nice. so i slept most of that plane and then we left at 7 p.m hong kong time and got home at 5 30 p.m vancouver time so oh. we got home before we left right <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing and then i was back at work the next day <laughs> oh my gosh oh my goodness yeah don't waste well, those vacation days right <laughs> no well and i i got in trouble for taking too many vacation days this year because we we oh. did do a lot of traveling this year i get it i totally relate <laughs> i almost met up with both of you this year but almost i know i but we have met I got to in, meet the Carrie park. in person this year though yes oh, yeah, you did. got to meet carrie in the park i've met you yes. i met you for dinner one night at disney springs now yeah. carrie have you met jen in the park yeah. i have i have i got mm -hmm. to meet her once in the park at epcot we met no i don't think i did when are you guys there in january end of january 20 uh, we i get there on the 26th Mm. and are meeting up on the 31st 30th i don't know we're doing a, our joint birthday dinner that yeah special night yeah nice yeah nice see it's and laura's gonna be there at the beginning of january <laughs> uh from from yeah i'm hoping to fit a trip in in january at some point i haven't quite figured right? that out yet yes it's a good time yeah. to go. It is. Weather's it is nice. Time. Yes, I know. See, nice and cool. Gonna, I know. Not too cool like Ontario. Yes. Yes, we'll have to plan that out. Yes. Carrie, did you have any other questions for Ashley? I well, want to make sure what, you got to you got to ask your questions. 
before yeah, we move on to pixie more. dust <laughs> what what did what did you eat anything that was your favorite thing was, mm, food. Oh. i okay so i had this i love daisy anyone that knows me knows i love daisy um they had a daisy coconut ice bar so it was like coconut milk ice cream and it was daisy oh. duck and it was delicious mm. Interesting. Um, other than that we didn't eat a lot of like exotic like anything mm. oh okay. i did actually they had a grilled squid um thing and I've, got, I've got a picture it was delicious i so i am a very adventurous eater to begin with um <laughs> we, we do sushi a lot and uh but this was a grilled squid it was delicious um it was like it was i question i was like oh that looks good and then i was like saw someone else eating it and i was kind of like mm, i don't know about that and then i was like okay no i just need to i, I just need heck? to try it yes. <laughs> i'm all i'm only in hong kong disneyland once every five years <laughs> right so do it and you were glad you did yeah it was delicious it was actually Carrie, quite would tasty you eat, would you eat grilled squid i'd have to look at it probably yeah I can safely say, yeah, I could look and you could show me and you could take pictures. You could put a bow on it. I would need it. <laughs> <laughs> I can say with certainty right now, no matter what that looked like, I would not be eating grilled squid. Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we went to, um, we ate lunch in the world of frozen oh. and they had delicious, um, European food in a sense. And they had the mushroom pasta kind of like a spetzla um which was really good and then we had a little side of meatballs with lingonberry and mashed potatoes so it reminded us of ikea <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sick. laughs> right? i was like oh how exotic <laughs> literally i feel like i'm at home i could make this <laughs> or i could just go to That's ikea awesome. and eat it but it was delicious um yeah oh we, oh, we had a shrimp burger mm -hmm. that was tasty as well um spider-man shrimp burger actually it had a red bun um that was in tomorrowland that's kind <laughs> in of the fun. marvel section <laughs> yeah so i mean it was like if you've ever gone out for chinese food and you've had like those shrimp breaded like crab claws then it's like that shrimp paste it was kind of just that made into like a burger patty so it was oh. like deep fried and then it was like tartar sauce and lettuce and it's like a fish burger but not a fish burger Huh. That was tasty. Yeah, we had that. It was good. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Not my not uh yeah, I probably wouldn't be eating the fish burger either or that the shrimp <laughs> burger either, but <laughs> <laughs> but it all sounds wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing your your Thanks adventures for with me. us. Um Thanks for having me yeah no it was very interesting and now of course you know it just it makes now you, you want to go to hong kong well it makes you think about it and you think how i think about it and then i look at the flight and i think oh but then you could do it in could layout I, you could do layovers though we would just rather just not yeah i would rather just get there like i yeah, yeah. layovers are not my thing yeah 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 that's why we did like just a short one on the way home yeah, I would probably I would just have to like since I quit smoking, I don't need a layover. I just need to yeah, go. There you go. Like <laughs> see there's advantages. <laughs> there are advantages. <laughs> Carrie's just shaking her head. <laughs> I mean it, it's long. I mean, fly this is what a lot of people around the world don't understand. Like North America gets it. Even just flying Vancouver to Toronto. Yeah. That's a five hour flight. I know. Plus the time change. Yep. yep. Whereas I can I can fly Vancouver to Orlando, and that's a six hour flight mm -hmm. with a three hour time change. So this yeah. is why I I no longer fly through Toronto. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you <laughs> because it's five plus three plus yes. whatever layover plus changing terminals plus security plus oh yeah yeah that's so. true. It and totally makes when, sense. When you're going across a country, it, yes. it's a lot. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I will. I've, at some point I will. Um, when, when vacation days are not necessarily an issue, there will be yeah. different opportunities to travel and not have to think I got to go there and, and be back in like four days or whatever. Four days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's, 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 she's talking easy. about your four days and then she's be like, I can only go for five. <laughs> I don't want to use any more vacation days. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's hard. Like you but... make it six because you gain a day. Cause you it, it, the day coming home right. like it didn't it didn't exist. So Carrie, we can we exactly. could totally do that in six days. We could do it exactly. I would just need exactly. I would just need whatever it is to make me sleep on the plane. That's it. I just need to get on the plane and go to sleep. Rubber mallet. Exactly. Upgrade. <laughs> yes. Upgrade to the fancy seats. <laughs> Yep, that's pretty much that. That would be the plan for it's sure. It's the easiest way to do it. It's, that's really the only way I sleep on a plane, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I can I can sleep sitting up on a plane. The problem is when I fly by so myself. Sore. I do. I get sore, but I also snore. So when I'm oh. when I'm solo on the plane by myself, it's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> You know, at least if you're and there when you're with friends. <laughs> no, because when I'm there with friends, I would they hope that they you? would elbow me and be like, fight him. Like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> anyway. I have never been on a plane and seen someone sleeping who hasn't been snoring. That's true. Do you know how many people snore on planes? I know. That's Just true. wake up and go to the bathroom and you walk past about eight of them <laughs> and you, you giggle because some of them are not quiet. <laughs> That is true. When and I, see, when I people last are giggling. Time, when I flew last time, the, uh, there was a young guy beside me, and he was like out cold before we even la- like <laughs> left. He woke up a little bit, but I've he done was that. done. And it's like, and we weren't we weren't delayed. Like there was no there was no <laughs> delay. We were just on the plane early, and mm-hmm. you know, like you, with Porter, you're on the plane pretty quickly, and you wait a bit. They're twiddling their thumbs, waiting because they're all done. This is like he was he was out like he, he was, was out he was and he's just a young guy he was out like snoring sleeping and I just looked at him and I'm like you lucky bugger like he needs like, <laughs> this to fall asleep that quick on a plane like he woke it's up I've like, done just, that I've yeah. done that and then like I literally I was like oh I woke up and I was like oh, I have to pee so bad so I got up and I was like walked to the bathroom and she's like the seatbelt sight's still on we're still like taking off and I was like. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Didn't even just woke up. Thought, autopilot I'll go. myself. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. See, we can go. This is what happens. And then that tells right, Carrie and I get into, you know, these yep, extra long happens. episodes. Okay. So you know how this works. At the yeah, end of the podcast, we share pixie dust, something that brought you joy or made you happy this week. So we'll let Ashley go first. All right. So on Tuesday, I got to go see Book of Mormon. Uh, oh. Me and two girlfriends have um, seasons tickets to our Broadway across Canada uh, touring season. And nice. so we went to Broadway across Canada, Book of Mormon on Tuesday. I, I'm i so confused because I feel I've seen it. I don't remember when, but it's so familiar. So I'm like, I don't know, but it was still so good. Um, yeah, so, you, so that's you my. You feel like you've seen so it fun. before, but you but you can't and remember seeing it, seeing it before. Oh, cool! But, and I, I want to see. see I've never seen that, but I want to see. So it. I've never seen it. I know I've it's heard. So I really, yeah. I think I will love it. I just got to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah, I, I, can, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I haven't. She's seen afraid it. she'll be snoring in the <laughs> theater like, and <laughs> won't elbow her. <laughs> but, yeah. Are you a musical person, Francine? No. No. <laughs> like this this makes sense why you haven't seen it yeah no no i have not seen it <laughs> but that's good i'm glad you enjoyed it yes that's perfect and good time with friends. yes yes and good friends friend time yes oh that's awesome that's the best part carrie pixie yeah. dust oh, i thought you were gonna skip <laughs> my pixie no, dust we're never skipping you I, I, I thought i had two bits of pixie dust i guess so nice today today i got to uh, participate in a make a wish event and it was awesome lovely emotional inspiring just a wonderful morning that's amazing i'm tired I'm tired. It was awesome so and, exciting. I'm, and, and now i'm tired i came home and i had to like have quiet time on the couch because it was just <laughs> And, and after that, we walked through Toronto to see the Taylor Swift stuff. 
we walked around the Sky Dome, or sorry, the Rogers Center. The Rogers Center. The, uh, to look at all of the, <laughs> the Swifty stuff all over the place. Um, so I guess that's my pixie dust. And then I went to Costco. I, I, I was going to joke and just say my, my pixie dust was when I went to Costco the other day. I spent Did the they have samples? There. They did. And I spent the whole dang morning there. I went with my neighbor and my mom. And we like legit moseyed around for like three hours in Costco because my Costco is not busy. So in the morning, there's nobody there. Just starts to get busy closer to lunch. So we just moseyed that's around, amazing. looked at every aisle, looked up, looked at every I've heard of unheard of exactly unheard of. and that's i only awesome. spent 150 dollars i thought yeah, i was gonna spend unheard of <laughs> that's unheard pretty good of. at a costco that's exactly. pretty good at a costco and it was so you... a whole morning of entertainment for 150 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing doing a make-a-wish thing that's that's incredible carrie and that's like participating in that <laughs> super awesome pretty cool um so much you, fun. you and your team really did a, an amazing job um because i it really helps, like the stitch yeah, tree like it really <laughs> it really yeah. helps it helps yeah and, it does yeah it was, it was really cool the the gal the little gal we had she already had her wish so we made so i guess they part of this thing through the year they get to have the tree so we decorated the tree and had presents for her and all that stuff but the money we fundraised this year will go towards next year's child like so we child. raised oh, money right. for the child to have a wish next year but then, the, like, at the end of the year, they do this Trees of Joy thing. 80 trees, 80 families, all dolled, all, like, trees were unbelievable. Like, it was, it was really, it was really cool. Yeah, like, you got to awesome. pack some tissues. You got to pack some tissues. Oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so, Fran, what's your pixie dust? <laughs> well, now, she's, she's got Make-A-Wish and friend time. Well, and I now I'm just going to say Costco. I <laughs> <laughs> well, Carrie likes to rub it in because her Costco isn't busy. Mine has a half an hour wait to get in the parking lot. Um, <laughs> if you came to my Costco, you might recon- you might think about relocating to where I, I might get I might place. have to because yeah, I did see go. the Taylor Swift stuff, and I got to tell you, it really ticked me off to see they closed down a highway and for the uh, the rest of us schleps sitting in traffic, but they closed down an entire highway for her to get there. But anyway, I understand because there was some other concert. I can't remember who it was. And the dude had to get out of his car and walk to the event because he was stuck in traffic and was going to miss his own show. So, yeah, I can't remember who the musician was, but the band literally had to get out of the car and walk the rest of the way because the traffic was so bad. So I assume that's what. Anyway, here I go again. OK, my pixie Just dust. Ignore that. I tried, um, I tried, I wasn't feeling the greatest earlier. I think I was just run down and I ordered this tea uh, from Walmart and it's Tetley's Immune Plus. And I, you know, me, like I'm a, just a regular tea drinker, like regular milk. I don't take sugar anymore. It still doesn't taste right, but whatever. I'm over it. Um, but I, so I don't normally like these kind of teas, but it's peppermint and ginger with zinc and vitamin C. And I got to tell you, it's been kind of delightful. <laughs> oh, kind of delightful. Not 100% delightful. Not 100%. Like, let's be clear. I'm not going to drink it all the time. But I was feeling just a little run down the last few days. And I thought, well, I'm going to try this. So I've had about six or seven cups of it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So and how me. are you feeling? I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit better. Um, I f- we're, you know, we're recording in advance obviously uh and i fly out to florida tomorrow so um i needed to get all these you know extra vitamin c's and d's and everything in me uh for my flight so zinks a to zinks a to zinks yes. yeah and it has zinc in it too i think so yeah i know i think you said that <laughs> so there you go <laughs> so carrie pays attention Oh, okay. So that was Ashley. Thank you so much for coming and joining us on the podcast. I am going to have all of the links in uh, the show notes so people can find you on Instagram and find your Epicure so they can go and get that churro dust because that is Mm -hmm. like everything plus other stuff. There's lots of good stuff, but that one's really good. Um, Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It was so much fun. It was. It was good. And thank you all for listening. And if you feel like it, you can leave us a rating and review um, if you made it this far. And uh, tell a friend about us. Peace. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Thanks for listening to the Pixie Dust Fan Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you're following us on your favorite podcast player so you'll get a new episode every week. And find us on social media too. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time, remember, you are never too old to be young. Chase your dreams and design your own happily ever after.